sauce is one of the easiest things to make. You're just gonna take one cup of water, one cup of sugar, bring it to a boil, and add three cups of fresh cranberries. So it's a one, one, three combination, one part water, one part sugar, three parts cranberries. Bring the water sugar mixture to a boil, stir in your cranberries, bring this mixture back up to a boil, and then just keep stirring it, waiting for the cranberries to pop. And as they pop, we'll smash those down a little bit. You can hear the cranberries popping. So just keep stirring the mixture. I'm using the back end of a wooden spoon to kind of smash those berries as they pop. And keep stirring that. I like to make the cranberry sauce a little more rustic with the full berries that are just smashed so there's a lot of texture but some people don't like that much texture so you can take the same mixture when it's completely cooked and put this through a strainer use a fine mesh wire strainer and then just pour this through and mash that and scrape it against the strainer with the back of a spoon until there's no pulp left in the mixture and then you would just cool that mixture and put in the fridge and you'll have more of a jellied type cranberry sauce as opposed to a more natural rustic cranberry sauce. This is coming together very nicely. I like it. It's a sweet and tart flavor when it's made this way, but maybe you want to add a little more oomph to it. You can use a little lemon zest or grapefruit zest, maybe add some uh, grated ginger or some spices like uh, cloves would be good. And if you want to just replace some of your water with orange juice, you can do that. Just remember it's a 1-1-3 combination. So you can see this is, I believe, fully cooked. I'm just smashing those whole berries down a little bit. We're going to let this cool before we put it in the fridge. And you can make this in advance of any dinner. It'll actually it'll taste a little better if you let it sit in the fridge for a day or two. Cranberry sauce. Everyone will think you fussed. So simple. Don't forget a 1-1-3 combination. One part water or liquid, one part sugar, and three parts cranberries. Give us a like on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. And subscribe to the YouTube channel Gourmet or Good Enough. Enjoy.